Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today. It's Universitatia Cluj, and they face Chefere Cluj. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And the match begins. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Delightful pass. Fine goalkeeping. Corner given. And short it is. Good tackle. Well, it doesn't make great reading for our hosts. Just look at this. It's the weakest attack in the league, and that's official. Yeah, they're struggling to create chances, let alone score goals. And I think it's a combination of many things. No cutting edge in midfield, a lack of movement from the front players, and nobody taking the game by the scruff of the neck. Hopefully, it's a different story today. On attacking possibilities. It needs an accurate cross. It has to be. Oh, a goal! They strike first, and what a way to silence the crowd. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Eli. Oh, 
And what can they do to stop him running at them? And a decent delivery. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, there you can see it. The visitors haven't been able to control possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Far from a good pass. That's useful play. Will he play it in? And intercepted it. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Excellent vision. Credit to them for winning back possession. In position here to protect the ball. Now veering in field. Crossing possibilities. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Yaboa. Now, what can they do from here? A well, fine reading of the situation. Yaboa. Chance to attack using wit. Pumped clear. Chance to finish. Surely. And still a chance. Surely. There it is. Two to the good now. And that gives them a buffer. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So, 2-0 now. And winning it back. Camora. As the stats show us, the visitors have had most of the play and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Yes, it might be on for them once more. I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul.
the byline, hence a goal kick. Time for a change then. Just 15 minutes remaining. A real opening now. It has to be, surely. A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, let's take another look. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot. What a good goal that is. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Ellie read it well. Five minutes left. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Can they get in behind them? And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, we discussed their lack of goals before the game, but today they had defensive issues. And for me, the main problem was their reaction time when they lost possession. It was far too slow, which left the defenders too exposed to counter-attacks. 